Hello, Previet, everyone, and welcome back to our channel, Inside Out Cooking. Today, we have a party-style dish for you all. It is the Mexican dip trio, being guacamole, pico de gallo, and pineapple salsa. It's the kind of bar food that we all love, and it's perfect for parties, like I said earlier. We'll start with pico de gallo, which requires two tomatoes, one small red onion or shallot, six cilantro sprigs, and half a lime, one jalapeno pepper, and one teaspoon of olive oil. Here is the visual for all the ingredients we'll be using for today. And let's just jump into it with our jalapeno pepper first. Now, to prepare this, we will be slicing off the end and then cutting it in half and using a spoon to remove the pith and the seeds. If you like a lot of heat in your dishes, feel free to leave the pith and the seeds inside and just dice it up how I'm doing here. But we will just simply be giving this a small dice before adding it to our mixing bowl. Moving on to the star of the dish, in my opinion, the tomatoes. We will be slicing them into thin rounds before further slicing them into batons as they are stacked on top of each other before finally turning them 90 degrees and then slicing them again for a small dice and then adding it to our mixing bowl. Next is the red onion, which we will peel and simply give a small dice to. I'd just like to take the time to note that a lot of the same fruits and vegetables we will be using here will be used throughout all three of the dips. So there will be some repetition and all of the cutting will be basically the same. But we'll just add the red onion into the bowl now and move on to cilantro. Now we will be picking the leaves before slicing them. But if you really like the cilantro flavor, you can include the stems here too, as they carry a lot stronger of a flavor than the leaf do. But we omitted the stems and simply just sliced the leaves, which we will be adding to our bowl now. Here I am rolling the lime on my board, and that simply loosens up the fruit inside, which makes it easier to juice. Alternatively, you can also microwave your lime for 10 to 15 seconds before juicing, and it'll give you a similar effect. But then we are simply seasoning to taste before giving a drizzle of olive oil. And then we'll give this a good mix. Take this time to taste your pico de gallo and see if it's missing anything, being seasoning or even a little more citrus. Remember, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. That is our finished pico de gallo, and we will move on with our pineapple salsa, for which we will need half a pineapple, one tomato, one jalapeno pepper, and one red onion or shallot, six cilantro sprigs, one orange and red bell pepper, and one lime. Here's the visual. And we will start with the pineapple. Being the namesake of the dish, we will be cutting off its face, which sounds a little aggressive, but I have no other words to really describe what we're doing to this. But we will simply be carving cubes into the flesh of the pineapple. And here we're using our French or chef's knife to do it. I highly recommend using a paring knife as we switch over to one earlier, and you just get a lot more control with the paring knife. But what you're trying to do here is simply cut deep enough where you can loosen it up and cleanly remove the cubes of pineapple with a spoon. And you want to keep these intact as best as possible because we will be dicing them up for the pineapple salsa. But after you cleanly remove as much of the pineapple as you can, you will more than likely be left over with some crushed up or pulpy pineapple at the bottom, along with a lot of juice. So you can simply remove this into a separate bowl and save that for something like smoothies. But we will have a hollowed out pineapple carcass here, which we will be using for the bowl for our pineapple salsa. And that's simply just for presentation's sake. You don't have to do this by any stretch, in which case you might want to clean your pineapple in a different way. That's up to you. But we're simply dicing our pineapple into a small size. 
Moving on to our bell peppers, we will be removing the pith and the seeds from them before slicing into thin batons, followed by a small dice, which is similar in size to the dice of the pineapple. Into the bowl it goes, and we will do the same thing with our red pepper. After you add this into the bowl, we will move on to the red onion, or shallot. Simply half, remove the skin, and a small dice, similar to the one we did earlier. Add your red onions into the bowl and move on to our jalapeno pepper, which we will prepare similarly to the last time. Again, if you want more heat, leave those pith and seeds in. But simply give it a small dice matching the other peppers you've cut and add to the mixing bowl. Now the pineapple is getting lonely in this bowl of mostly vegetables being the only fruit, so we'll add some tomato. And we will slice into thin rounds just like last time before giving a small dice. Until the bullet goes, turning our attention towards the cilantro. Simply slice your leaves. Quick note about cilantro and really any herb is you want to be careful not to overcut your herbs as you might bruise them which will give them a wilty consistency and flavor, which is fairly unpleasant, so be warned about that. Next is the lime, which we will juice into the bowl, same as always, before giving a light seasoning to our bowl. And then we'll simply mix up. Now for the finishing touches, we will be adding our salsa back into the hollowed out pineapple for presentation. And there you have it, it is finished. Finally, for guacamole, we will need three avocados, one tomato, one jalapeno, and one red onion or shallot, two garlic cloves, one lime, and six cilantro sprigs. Here's the visual. And we'll start our final dip for today with the star of the dish, the avocado, which we will start by carefully working our knife around the pit before twisting off and removing the pit like so. I like to do it on the board because I've cut myself doing it in the air before and there's no real reason to put yourself in that kind of danger. Now carefully carve into the flesh of the avocado, similarly how you did it with the pineapple. You could even use a paring knife here, probably a better idea. Or simply just scooping out the loose fruit into your bowl. Moving on to the garlic, simply give it a small dice or use your garlic press if you feel so inclined. Before adding it to the mixing bowl. Now for tomatoes, yet again, we'll preparing them the same way, giving them a small dice. This time we're not really interested in the integrity of the tomatoes as everything is going to be crushed up. And the bowl goes and moving on to the onion. Finally, for the final time we will be dicing them in a small size before adding to the bowl. Same thing with the jalapeno. Small dice. bowl it goes. Time for our cilantro. Remember, 
thin chiffonade of cilantro, which is a fancy term of rolling up your herbs and then slicing them. Here we're going to add half a lime's worth of zyme, half a zest's worth of lime before juicing into the bowl. Season to taste and begin mashing. I like to see the other vegetables we use, so we'll just be simply mashing with the back of a fork. Alternatively, you can use a potato masher, but you can also blend your, out your guacamole. It's entirely up to you. But we will be giving this a drizzle of olive oil after it's all mashed before just slightly mixing. And there you have it, that is the finished guacamole, and also the finished end product of all three of our dips. It is honestly the perfect kind of dish for any party, because I can't imagine anybody disliking salsa. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.